What's up, comic creators? To add voice effects into your voice recordings, uh, the first thing that you will do is click on the uh, recording that you're wanting to edit. And once you click on it in the top right hand corner, right next to your preview uh, screen, a menu uh, with options for altering that audio recording will pop up. And from there, you can go through and see the different effects and different uh, changes you can make to your audio recordings. Um, and I'll show you those real quick here. The first thing you'll notice is the tabs at the top you have your basic changes and then you have your speed tab you can click that and you can actually uh, use this um, bar here to adjust the speed of your recording so you can uh, make it sound really fast or, or really slow it down uh, it's very interesting when you can do stuff like that um, and then if you just leave it at one point or one times it'll uh, be normal and then on your basic side you'll see um, right at the very bottom you have this tab here that says voice effects when you check that box um, it will allow you to use this drop down menu and you can see all the different types of voice adjustments you can make to your recording so I'm gonna go ahead and choose elf here because you know why not so I'll click on elf and then you'll see it adds these two uh, sliding bar options for pitch and timber uh, which will allow you to adjust uh, pretty much how the uh, how how deep and effective the uh, voice changing effect is so you definitely will play around with that and you can uh, play it back and and kind of see uh, the changes it makes to the voice it basically makes it more noticeable within the recording or you can make it less noticeable in the recording that's the very layman's terms of explaining that and I also think it's important to mention that never forget the uh, all-powerful uh, undo uh, button in your project so if you do something that you don't like and you don't you're not really sure uh, how to take it off you can always click this undo button and that will take back uh, any changes you make to your project uh, that you don't like and then also if altogether you decide against voice effects all you have to do is click this checkbox in the menu on the right hand side again and that will shut off the voice effects no matter what changes you've made um, in your recording well i hope that helps guys i hope you're able to uh, find that useful uh, let me know in the comments below uh, if you have any other questions or uh, if you use voice effects at all i'd be interested to see uh, if anyone actually uses that function within their projects Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects, and please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.